Hey everybody, this is Drax Solo, and previously I made a tutorial on how to make a simple boat and one on how to make a gas engine. Find the links in the description for those if you haven't seen them. Today I'm going to take that gas engine and put it in the simple boat. I'm going to click multiplayer because I like for my friends to be able to join me. And I'm going to load the game, my save, that I've been working on. Alright, here I am, back at the scene of the crime. Something evil happened here. I can smell it. That is my gas engine. Let me return it to the board by pressing B. Alright, and now I'm going to load my simple boat. Drag that boat's too small for that engine! That's never stopped me before. All right, so we're gonna try to do this without disturbing anything that's already there. I'm going to make a hole for us to work through. Oh, all right, we opened it up. Get rid of that block. Now we see the electric motor there. I'm gonna get rid of that. Here's the motor. If it's not in your inventory, you click over here and, and go uh, engine. That's it right there. And just drag it and put it down there. I'm gonna have all the pipes facing down but I want this turned around facing the other way. There we go. So the top of our boat is gonna have to have like a little engine cowling there that goes up above. All right, let's start uh, over here. I'm gonna knock a hole in this so we can see where it is. We've gotta make that engine shaft line up with this uh, propeller and we're gonna do it with enclosed pipes. So I'm gonna go here, pipe. This is the easiest way to figure out what pipe you need. Look at the unenclosed pipe, pipe angle. The enclosed pipe that you want is right next to it, the pipe angle. You want a enclosed pipe angle, it's right next to the pipe angle. Right there, this is one I need. I'm gonna take it, put it right here. Here is the T-piece. I'm gonna put it right there. There's the T-piece. And here is a straight pipe, so the enclosed straight pipe is going to be right there. I'll put it here. Actually, it's going to be a funny angle. So, it's not the T-piece that I'm going to need. It's going to be the, uh, this guy right here. The pipe angle corner. I'll put that here for now. Alright, let me knock out another block. We'll put my generator over on the side over here all right so i'm gonna put a pipe angle corner so i'm gonna hit l to turn it until it lines up with the direction i want it to go so now i've got a pipe going to the left and one going down and it's going to that uh yeah you can sort of see the top of it there uh, when you look at it this way so the pipe is is one's going into the engine there and one's going down and one's going to the left so I'm going to delete that so we can see even better. I need to put a uh, an angle going there. Alright, I'm going to have to just rotate it myself. There. One's going up, one's going to the right. So now it's going to the drive. Now I need to put a straight pipe and then an angle so I can put the generator in line as well. T-piece straight enclosed pipe there it goes from right to left you can see the arrows and now I've got a uh, angle I can I can see it's going that way but I can't see that it's coming out the other side so I'm just going to go over here and look to make sure it's coming out where I want it and it is all right so now I've got my drive shaft hooked up let me put a block in there to fill in the hole. So I've got my propeller hooked up. I've got a little hole coming out here. And that is where I'm going to put my generator. I use this little one. I'll put it, just put it right on there. Now I've got a generator. Okay, drive shaft and generator are hooked up. Um, down here, I've, I'm going to knock these blocks out so that we can see oh no this might be a problem so 
I I just realized the the rudder placement is going to be a problem. So I am going to um, place this motor again. I'm going to just delete it and I'm going to place it again. So I'm going to hit J to just turn it around this way. And now all of the pipes are facing up. If you if you look at this, the rudder takes up three blocks and they would be blocking uh, my ports. This is coolant in, this is coolant out, this is fuel, uh, and this is exhaust, and this is air. I'm going to need a fluid port. Fluid port. That's it right there, fluid port. I'll put it, I don't need to put another generator, so I'll put it there. The, f the fluid port for the air intake is right there. Here I'm going to delete there and here right there so now we got a hole in the bottom lined up almost perfectly with the uh, coolant ports I'm gonna turn on the symmetry and now I'm gonna take a uh, pipe angle enclosed and if you look at it from the side here you can see it's going the right way it's going down and to the left and the other side is gonna do oh our st our steering is in the way I don't want to delete it and lose all my connections so I'm gonna move it I'll show you how to move it all right uh, we're gonna do a selection grid and I'm gonna move this over here and up a little bit right there up one more that should be in the middle I'm gonna resize the grid I'm gonna go up I go this way one block this way one and that way one two let me close it in on the left and right where I don't accidentally grab anything else it says move cut I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna I'm gonna try moving it forward a few blocks three blocks and I'm gonna paste it if you just leave it like that it's kind of funny what happens if you just uh, spawn it now uh, look what happened to my steering it just it just fell there that's no good <laughs> let me show you how to stop that from happening let me hit B all right you gotta you gotta go to this thing here that says merge and you notice the helm and the bolt are two different colors well you just click on one and you click on the other and it merges them and now they're all the same color done let me get back to placing the pipe angle blocks that's the right direction and now I gotta put one more so they'll go down I'm gonna hit J to turn it till it faces down what I need to do is put a fluid port in down here I'm gonna hit J until the pipe end is facing up and then I'm gonna just take a, a straight pipe enclosed and and put and put and put the coolant intake is on the bottom of the boat now so it's gonna suck up seawater and spit it out and that's gonna cool the engine all right so we need exhaust and fuel now well actually they're not gonna go to the same way so I'm gonna turn off the symmetry the fuel line is is gonna go a different direction than the exhaust pipe angle we're gonna make I'm gonna press K to turn it back I want it to go all the way to the back of the boat, so I'm gonna do a a, a straight pipe. I just have it stick out the back there. There's one more piece that needs to make it work though. Exhaust. It needs an exhaust pipe. I'll put it here. Put that there. So now we got exhaust. Just need a fuel line. I want it to go to the left. I'm gonna hit K to turn it to the left here and make it go down and now I can hit L and rotate that pipe until it goes this way and now I can run pipe through the top side of the boat to the fuel tank that I'm gonna place up here I'm gonna make another hole here so we can see what's going on in there there's the battery I don't want the battery there anymore I want to move the battery I'm gonna put the battery over here and it'll offset the weight of the generator here. Hit K to turn it. Alright. And uh, 
Now I need to do the electrical again. I had everything hooked to the battery and now nothing's hooked up. I hook everything to the battery. All right, and this sensor up here. There, everything's hooked to the battery now. Now we're gonna need a tank. We'll use the medium sized tank. Turn it this way. There. Now it's right in the middle, just under the surface. So now I'm going to open a conduit back to where I want it to go. There we go. And I'm going to use the pipe angle, straight pipe enclosed, one more, and then a pipe angle to make it turn back. I'm going to hit J to turn it to face the way I want it. And then some straight pipe. And one last, I just hit L to make it turn the way I want it. And now the fuel is going along here. It's going here, 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 here. And then it runs all the way to, uh, to the front there and it goes right down into my fuel tank, to the little hole on the fuel tank. So I've got fuel, I've got exhaust, I've got air intake, I've got cooling, it's all hooked up. All right, let's fill in the gaps to close it up. One more block there. Put one in here, one here, and one here. And now that's all closed in. Okay. All right, it's all closed back in. And we got a little bit of a bump there and we moved the steering forward slightly, but we got everything back where it should be. So now let's hook up the logic. All right, the rudder's hooked up. So that is going to go to the throttle. We're gonna have to put more gauges for all of the other stuff. So we're gonna need dials. We're going to need a push button. We're going to need maybe a toggle. So I got one dial there. I'm going to hit K to turn it face in front. And let's put one more dial there. So let me turn off the symmetry so I can put a toggle button here. I hit K to turn it that way and I can put a push button over here hit K again this is the push button so this is gonna be the starter alright let's wire these things up and then we'll decide what they are I've got the revolutions so this is like a tachometer this is the temperature of the engine. I'll put that over here. This is the battery. And this is the generator RPS generator battery and temp. And I got to make some changes to the data. RPS I want the minimum to be zero, max to be 100. The generator, the minimum zero, will make the max value five. The battery, zero to one will be fine for the battery. And the engine temperature, zero to like 150 centigrade. And I believe I already have the WNS set to sticky. And I've got the sensitivity down to 5%. Let's see what I forgot to do. It's got to be logic. Yes, I did not hook up the starter. This has got to go there. The dot goes to the donut for the starter. 
Oh, I have no starter. And I can also hook up all of these guys to electricity. All right, let's do this. Oh, uh, let me save it. Ah. All right. Now jump up there. Jump. Jump. Arr. Hit F. Now I'm at the helm. Run this up to point two. And hit the start. Whoa, there we go. We are going forward. And look, the the propeller is more underwater now because the boat is heavier. So it's uh, going further down. Let's give it some more gas. See how fast it'll go. We'll go up to 40%. Yeah, we're moving. Look at us go. Oh, and we're putting out some smoke. Alright, so we put that uh, gas engine into the simple boat. Ah! <laughs> now we're out of control. They get down on the throttle a little bit. We'll run it at 0.3% and see if that's a little more stable. It's too much in motor. It's too much engine for this boat. Um, especially in the... It's a small craft. There's a small craft advisory but it works so that's how that's how you put the gas engine into a boat I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful and I will see you next time oh no tsunami whoa oh it looks like we're doing alright we're on a boat we're on a boat <laughs> Hehehehehehehe <laughs>